before the hour. It's time now for Comedy Club, and to handle the introductions is Mr. History himself, Bob Saget. <laughs> Thanks, Marriott. This morning's comedian began his stand-up career in Washington, D.C., and eventually settled in Los Angeles. And you can catch him in the upcoming Steve Martin movie, Roxanne. He's making his first appearance on our show. He's my friend, Rich Scheidner. You know you have arguments, no matter how much you love each other, no matter how much you need each other, you know there are going to be those moments in any particular day where one minute you look at the other person, you're thinking to yourself, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. And your next thought could be, how can I fake my death? <laughs> things people argue about, easy things like staying out late. Guys know, especially if you're married or living together, you got a curfew. That's sometime you better be in the house or come through that door with an injury. <laughs> so what? You said it's five o'clock in the morning? I gotta get home. Tony, break my leg. <laughs> If we guys want to avoid the arguments with you women at all costs because you women are better at arguing than we are. I didn't say you were right more often. I said you had better stamina. See, guys... Guys just want to get the argument over with. Now, look, you told me I did wrong. I said I'm sorry. Argument's over with. No, argument is not over with. It's not over that easy. We're going to talk this thing out. I want to know your feelings. You're going to know my feelings. We have communication here. No communication. Same, same things happen time and time again. We're going to talk this thing out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I won't do it again until I do it again. Then I'll say I'm sorry again. You guys know you might as well argue it out with her because women remember wrongs were not addressed properly forever. You'll pay somewhere down the road, pal. Just one night you'll be like, look, I know it's your favorite show, but we're not going to watch it. That's the way it's going to be tonight. I guess that's the way it was that night when you left me in a restaurant three years ago. What? <laughs> I told you that, I'm telling you now, I just forgot you were there. <laughs> you gotta ride home, then you get a ride home. <laughs> and you know, the rule is, you know, never go to sleep angry at each other. Don't go to bed, still angry. There's a good reason for that. You ever had that time, you know, where one or the other wakes the other person up, you know? Middle of the night, wake up, wake up. Wake up. I had a nightmare about you. <laughs> we were driving in a desert and you just left me there. Go back to sleep, I'll come pick you up. <laughs> as soon as I finish fighting the monster, I'll come pick you up. I gotta... And the worst thing you women can do in an argument is when you won't tell the guy what he did wrong. You guys are walking that trap, you come bopping through the front door, she give you that. <laughs> What's wrong? You know what you did. <laughs> See, now the guy's really screwed it all. Because he's got at least 30 things in his head she hasn't even thought about yet. <laughs> Start whipping through that mental Rolodex at warp speed. <laughs> God, what did I do wrong? Please let me be right on the first try. I don't need any more heat at this point. <laughs> and you guys know, if you're having an argument with a woman you love and she starts to cry, you lose the argument. <laughs> White flag surrender, you're done, Daddy O. You can't argue with the woman you love when she's crying. When she's crying, the only thing you can think about is to try to stop her from crying. Oh, well, look, dear, look on the wall. <laughs> Thank you very much.